Aloha, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. One of our top reward tiers, as I'm sure you've heard us mention before, is whatever video you request, we must definitely do and put up on YouTube. Got a few discussion ones coming next week or so. Today is a request from my homeboy, Tyler Haig, the man who's responsible for the reason why I can play Red Dead Redemption 2 and Spider-Man PS4 now. Thanks, buddy. If Les Grossman negotiated with Hans Gruber from Die Hard, Les Grossman, Tom Cruise's character from Tropic Thunder, Hans Gruber, uh, Professor Snape. So, let's do this. <laughs> Alan Rickman deserves more respect than that, Greg. He deserves more respect than that, man. Multiple roles. <laughs> Not just eight Harry Potter. <laughs> you want to hear it, I'm on it, I'm on it. I'm listening. I want you to stand by at the full bridge. What about the foe? I thought I'd kill all of you. I want radio silence until the third goes. Who, who is this? <laughs> Thieves of position. Hey, Tucker Nuts, I've got you on speakerphone. You know my name, do you? Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. I used to laugh. <laughs> Negotiating the beginner. I have comrades in arms around the world languishing in prison. Great. Let me get this down. All the people are to be released from their captives. Oh, wait. I got a better idea. It's very kind of you. How about I send you a hobo's dick case? We all have our bad days. In the meantime, it is usual. Go fuck yourself. We don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. Yeah. laughs> oh, oh bad man. At all. That was that was wonderfully edited. Funny or die. I forget they exist. I know, right? I remember when they first came on in the scene? That was a big deal, you know, the Wolf Barrel, Judd Apatow, all that. And, all these famous comedians are gonna have their own YouTube yeah, yeah, and everything's yeah. going to be amazing. <laughs> Hey, don't call me bitch. I'm a grown man. At first, I was just a little bit distracted by the editing because you're cutting between Tropic Thunder, Die Hard, The Negotiator, and Inside, Inside man, man at the very beginning of this. Yeah. So at first, my my mind's like readjusting to it, and then as it kept going, you're like, okay, this is starting to play out a little bit smooth. The audio is a little bit off, but then it's, the audio started transitioning to something very smooth, and I thought, okay, this is going to be funny, because, you know, it's it's uh, Tom Cruise's uh, Les Grossman character, but then when they started cutting to, like, the yeah, other like movies. Ghostbusters and other people. And signs, and, uh, uh, like, a whole bunch of movies. Or yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, so many, <laughs> everyone just listening to the walkie-talkie, it's like walkie-talkie bit. Yeah. That was really wonderfully edited. This is this is a really funny-ass video. Yeah, man. Well, it, it caught me off guard at first because of the title you know i was only expecting les grossman and uh you know hans gruber and all that but yeah to see so many other movies brought in and to have it become this whole other situation where like <laughs> a bunch of people are working on this like it's great like it, yeah once it starts to get smooth it's really fascinating how well this all cuts together and becomes this wacky scenario i forget that this was a tom cruise like big role that actually kind of put him back on the map and yeah all, because he was in a weird funk and then you know he's this very like self-serious dude and all yeah. the Scientology stuff and whatever and like MI3 had underperformed at the box office and so 
when he did this character, it took everyone by surprise. And a lot of people don't realize that he came up with a lot of the character. I that, think we heard the same thing because I was about to bring this up. <laughs> of what, what capacity? Well, Ben Stiller said that he just wanted him to play like himself. And yeah. that Tom Cruise came to him with... I want to wear a fat suit. I want to wear a I fat suit disgusting. with arms. Yeah, like, yeah he, fingers. He wanted to go all out for this. Okay, there he is. There he is. Go okay. have fun. All go right. Fun. Oh, we're having a... Okay. Thank you, Les. Thank you. We have a good night. But seriously, a nutless monkey could do your job. It, it kind of makes me wish that Tom Cruise would do more weird things like that. Because yeah. even looking at these little snippets, it's... If he was not in the makeup, it might feel weird. It might feel like, ah, oh, you're trying really hard, Tom Cruise, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with the makeup and everything, you're like, man, he is so... He Into looks like this. he's just having so much fun, and it feels natural. It doesn't feel like he's trying to be funny. He feels like he really knows what he's doing with this character. Yeah, he feels and like he's... so he's... funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because it's like he's committed, but I get the sense out of that performance that he knows exactly what level this character exists on, so he's having a certain amount of fun with that commitment. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, it dazzled me all the more just to hear that tidbit that he was like, no, 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 I want to go full immersion with this character, you know? I yeah. want to make this an opportunity. And, yeah, I, I share that same sentiment. It's like, I wish this Tom Cruise existed beyond this one role <laughs> in this one movie, you know, because uh, I feel like a lot of those actors who are big on, you know, action and crazy stunts and stuff like that, like, have these secret comedy chops where you're like, come on, like, yeah. let's get it a little more diverse in your filmography, because yeah. right now it seems like the only reliable thing he has going is Mission Impossible. Why not mix it up a little bit, man? Well, it seems like when Ghost Protocol put him back in the box office map, it seemed like a lot of his role, I didn't intend for this to become a Tom Cruise talk, but it's becoming that it's way. It's gonna <laughs> I, I feel like when he did um, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, when he was back, oh, this movie is the biggest, like, this is a huge film. It's He's back to being a box office king. Then he was doing, like, Night and Day and Jack Reacher and Oblivion. And Edge of Tomorrow was a little bit of a stretch because it got to demonstrate a little bit more of his comedic talents. Um, yeah. In terms of not being Mr. Confident Guy and someone who has to grow into someone who's confident and more of an action hero. He has to arc into being Tom Cruise. Yeah, he has to arc into the Tom Cruise archetype. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Tom Ever, Cruise origins. <laughs> Ever since Ghost Protocol, he just really hasn't exper which I don't c kind of blame him for. It ain't broke. Especially because... It seemed like his career might have been gone for a hot minute there. Not, like, completely faded, but it was like, oh, I don't know if we'll be able to see past, you know, the weird personality that is Tom Cruise that we see on, on the media all the time now. And then we did Ghost Protocol. It was starting to shift back into the superstar that is Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he's just kind of that guy all the time. And I love that guy. Yeah, I do. I, like, love that dude. He has balanced <laughs> yeah. himself out into being, like, intense, but also kind of fun, yeah. you know? Also makes a pretty supremely entertaining action movie now and again. But if not, if not like, a Les Grossman or some kind of crazy comedy like that, you know, something a little bit more like Vincent in Collateral. Uh, something more character-based yeah, where he like actually makeup has and shit. Yeah. Bit, yeah, maybe change his look up some. Not... Be, I, I mean, you know, he, he always brings commitment, but there are a lot of times he is just Tom Cruise. And yeah, yeah. I, I always admire when actors take that chance to mix it up. Yeah. And back to the sketch. Uh, this <laughs> is a really funny play on negotiation bits, because that's yeah. essentially what that Tropic Thunder bit was yeah. making fun of, because of the ending line is, we, we don't, don't negotiate, negotiate with terrorists, terrorists and everybody's just like, like, oh, yes. Which is a great ending line for that for that scene. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, perfect. As a standalone moment. But this, like, whole bit of, like, the walkie-talkie bit, I, I can't imagine being in the whoever wrote this or edited it, it was like, what scenes are there famous actors with walkie talk? Because I have a hard time kind of just thinking of that. I'm like, oh, science has walkie talkies, but what moment would I use? You yeah, know? yeah. So, like, something like that might seem easy to edit with the montage, but that's actually takes a lot of brain work to sort of figure out which specific moments you're going to use for a split second to make a joke land, you know? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, and it also makes you wonder how sketches like this get built because part of me sits here and goes, okay, well, maybe somebody came up with the idea. Maybe somebody watched Tropic Thunder and was like, this scene could fit into yeah. so many heist movies and then maybe they cut them together and then started to think oh this would be a great moment to cut to something else yeah. you know and then yeah you get all the there's Hot Fuzz there's Jurassic Park you there's know Captain Phillips yeah. Captain Phillips yeah. yeah I wonder if these other scenes that they chose came in later or something like that when it became clear that this bit would work but could be even bigger or better or yeah because that to me was the funniest part of it all 
Yeah, especially the other when... part was just like, yeah, it's really funny just because I'm watching that scene from Tropic Thunder again. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the beginning was was subtle enough where for a second I was like, wait a minute, it was Willem Dafoe and Die Harder one of these movies, and then I realized, <laughs> oh, it's Inside Man. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Or, and then there's yeah, the Negotiator and stuff. So like once I got used to it, it was all the more rewarding when they started to expand that later and get wackier about it. Yeah. You know, starting off grounding and then building up that comedy. Well, Tyler, thanks so much for requesting this, buddy. You request funny-ass ones all the time, and I appreciate that, dude. Good taste. Tyler, my main man, you know this is going up later than Valentine's Day, but we're shooting this on Valentine's Day. And I want you to know that right now, I wish I wasn't with my girlfriend. I wish my girlfriend was with you, and I was watching you two get it on. Because you kind of got a Les Grossman thing about you. You know, you're not bald. But, you know, you got the hairy body and everything, a little bit on the thicker side. Oh, With two C's. Dude, she would ride you so hard. I need to call her. Send her to Wisconsin. Send me a video. Get <laughs> off on Shane. I like that you're just going to stay here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I got to feel the shame. It's got to be like, she's cheating on me. Ooh, you cuck you. You cuckled. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to then fly you out to Wisconsin and watch the three of you get it on while I watch and cry at the same time. That's not fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. But if you get it on with them. Oh, that oh, would be so much worse for you. Oh, no, then that's that hot. Would, yeah. That's hot. Yeah, that's and taboo too. Once I finish, I am sad. Subscribe to the Reject Nation, click that notification bell, and uh, we'll catch you on the flippity flip of the gods. <gasps>